guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Um, I am so bothered right now. I am so incredibly bothered right now. Um, Diddy, are you freaking kidding me? Like, are you serious, dude? Like, I'm, I've sat on this, this story. Uh, the whole thing with Cassie and Diddy, I didn't do videos on that situation. And it wasn't because I didn't believe Cassie. It wasn't because I liked Diddy better than Ka It wasn't any of that. I'm a fan of both people. I've said, you know, I have tons of videos where I've stated that I like Diddy, you know, and the work that he's done, his work. Now, his attitude and different things like that, I've reported on some things that, you know, that have happened in the past. Diddy definitely has an attitude. He definitely is narcissistic and all these things. But some things you're just doing too much. Now, all of this stuff that's come forth with this abuse accusations and violations of the human uh, counterparts and carrying on, it's that was just a lot. So I said, you know what? Let me sit back for a second and let me chill because I'm not really sure exactly what I want to say. Very careful about this kind of stuff. Now, my bad behavior online, whatever, I want to say something or do something sideways, that's fine because that's me. But when you're speaking about other people, you got to worry about being taken to court and all these different things. And you want to make sure that you're reporting the right thing and speaking upon the right thing. But I titled this video, Seeing is Believing, because it is. Seeing is believing. Now, you can't believe everything you say. But when I see a man beating up on a woman the way you beat up on Cassie in that hallway, I don't need to see nothing else. I don't need to see nothing else. Seeing is believing. See, if you did, because there are statements that you made about, oh, I haven't done any of these things that I was accused of and this, that thing and the other. Once this video came out, you guilty. <laughs> you know, you guilty. It's just, that's, that's going to be the court of public opinion. Because we're just going to look at you and be like, as if you could do this, then you can do that. It's, it's going to be one of those kind of things. So, I, you know, I'm sorry for you for the things that maybe you got accused of and you didn't do, but seeing is believing. You beat Cassie. You beat her. You beat her and you were so comfortable in what you were doing. Everybody knows that there are cameras all over hotels. Everybody knows when you're out like... Anywhere where celebrities are at, Big Brother is always watching. Usually watching to protect them, but catching you all in your real element, doing all of your... And you were so comfortable the way you did it that it tells me that ain't the first time. And that's where it got very, very uncomfortable for me. Because anybody that that beats like that, that didn't look like an isolated event. That didn't look like, a, oh, I really lost it and I was out of my body one time. No, that looked like somebody to do some ass whooping on a regular basis. See, and this is the stuff I didn't really want to say because I didn't want to be out here just, you know, seeing is believing. He came in the video, the video is from the hotel. I know I just came and just start talking, but it's all over social media. Listen, we all know there was a situation with Cassie and Diddy. Cassie was suing Diddy. Diddy paid Cassie to shut that, shut it down, and it happened very quickly. But it didn't really shut things down. Other stuff has kicked up, and it's just been a whole melee of foolishness surrounding Diddy. And again, like I said, I sat back and watched. And I said, I don't know if I'll ever 
actually speak about the whole Diddy thing because again, it's so high profile. You know, shit. Can Diddy afford to sue us and yank us off of YouTube? Of course he can. This week. Will you be able to afford to do that next week? Because I think you just screwed yourself, buddy. But anyway, so here we are. I'm still keeping quiet. I'm just watching. And I'm like, this is a mess. Now, have my my visions of him changed? Yeah, I'm like, you know, that's I had to take this into consideration now with Diddy and like, Damn, did he? Then this video surfaces. There was talk of a video and a situation that happened in a hotel with Cassie, but it never they, we never got to go any further into it because, again, he paid her off, he shut it down, and that was that. Well, the video footage, it popped up yesterday, and boom, here we are. Cassie's leaving. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about what's in the video. Don't know what happened before that, but we see her looking distraught and getting like getting the hell up out of there. And she's like coming down the hallway, getting toward the, the elevator. And we see Diddy with just a towel wrapped around him running because we're going from in a different hallway, running down the hallway. He gets to where Cassie is. He runs up on her. Okay. Runs up on her, again, not even thinking about no camera, don't even give a damn because that's part of being narcissistic and delusional and stuck in your, your everythingness. He yanks her up, slams her down on the ground, kicking her. Kick. I don't know if you've all ever seen Cassie. Some of you may have never seen Cassie. Go pull up a video of Cassie, of one of her music videos, and just look at her in conjunction to some of the dancers that she's beside and other people in the video. Cassie is tiny. She's a tiny little woman. Diddy is a whole grown-ass man. Slam her down, knock her down on the ground, kicking and stomping her. Kicking and stomping her like she's some... Ninja out in the street that he having a whole fight with. Then he ends up grabbing her and he's dragging her by her clothes and hair and stuff, dragging her down the hallway, like we'll drag her back to whatever room they left out. Are you freaking kidding me? And at that point, well, listen, I'm going to tell you the truth. For me, when he came and he, and she hit the ground, I was done then. I didn't even have to see no more. I was done then. But then you put your goddamn feet on somebody else's daughter that you've been laying around with. She ain't posing no harm to you. She trying to get away from you, obviously. You put your feet on somebody's daughter. And you got daughters. Little tiny daughters just like her. How would you feel if somebody take and slam one of your daughters or put their feet on your daughter, Diddy? You would move heaven and earth and spend every dime you had. Yet you ran your ass down that hall, yanked that girl up, slammed her down, and stomped and kicked all on her. Then you're going to drag her like trash up the hallway with your big ass. Then you turn around and once she gets herself up and she's, you know, moving around, he going to back her all up into a corner. And then we see him literally throwing a glass vase at her. Really? Listen, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. That video, that video gave me everything I needed to say, Diddy. I can't do you, boo. I can't do you. That's that's quite a bit too much for me. That is quite a bit too much for me. You weren't fighting. You weren't 
in a situation where you were protecting yourself. You weren't in a situation where she was posing any type of threat or harm to you whatsoever. And what you did was you bullied her, you beat her, and you violated her. Period. Period. No ifs, no ands, no buts. And like I said when I started this, seeing is believing. Now, I don't know with this whole thing with Cassie. I know she got paid, and I guess her portion of whatever this is is kind of like shut down. But as far as the public, see, because we're the ones that's important. When it's all over and said and done and the court documents go get put away in the file drawers, then you're left with us. The people that buy your clothes, the people who buy your music, the people who deal with the artists that deal with you and all of that kind of thing. You may have won when it comes to the payout, when it comes to Cassie, you won that fight. You didn't win the battle because she got paid and went on and you got started into the mess. So she she's won up you with the battle. But when it comes to the war, I think Miss Cassie just won the war. She may not get another dime out of this situation, but uh, I think it's going to hinder the dimes that you have to collect going forward. Because in the court of public opinion, Diddy, I think you're finished. I think you're finished. I, at least I'm over here in Pittsburgh, over here where I stay, in Spillboy TV land. I can't. I can't what you do. I can't support you. With that. that visual was just too much. It was just too much. Hearing some stuff and, you know, I mean, we all seeing stuff on television or in person. Oh yeah, somebody got into a fight or oh yeah, oh yeah, that man, he just slapped his wife. It's one thing to hear that somebody slapped their wife and you be bothered, you be like, he did what? But when you actually physically see him slap the wife, you be like, oh, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I got a good bat for him. You know what I mean? So it, again, seeing is believing. That visual really put, it put all the colors on the black and white coloring book. It just, I don't need no more Diddy. I don't. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to get on out of here because I didn't had enough of it. I didn't had enough of it. I didn't had enough of him. I didn't, Diddy. God bless you, uh, brother love or love brother or whatever the hell you call on yourself these days. But damn, Diddy, you just ruined, you ruined a whole legacy with some bullshit. It ain't just unnecessary. Way too comfortable being who it is you think you are to go over there and just be her like you like you were okay. Like you was it was cool to be able to do it. Oh ain't nobody going now. Y'all we know. I'm out of here, y'all. I'm done. I ain't got nothing else to say about this. Listen, y'all take care of yourselves. Anybody who's out there who's dealing with domestic violence don't let us have to see your video. Get up out of there. Get up out of there. Whatever it is you have to do, whoever it is that you need to call, get up out of there. If you, um, listen, I got an email. I got social media. I'm spillitboy at gmail.com. If you need some something that I could possibly get to you some number. So you need some help, something you can reach out to me on my Gmail account and I'll try to drag up some thing to help you with your situation. But it's, you got to go. You got to get out of it. You have to get out of the situation because it don't get better. It doesn't get better. It really doesn't. Somebody always ends up hurt. Okay. All right. Listen, love on yourself. Love on yourself. Get out of that situation. I'll see y'all later. I'm out of here. Again, it's spillerboy at gmail.com. If there ain't nothing but an 800 number or something that I could pass to you to help you out, something. If, reach out to somebody, but don't let 
yourself be the next one in a video like this that we actually can see. Try Get, get yourself out of that situation if you can. All right, y'all. I'm done. I'm out of here. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.